Well, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. He is beautiful for situations. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever and whenever you are watching this. Uh, Facebook, uh, Clubhouse, Twitter, YouTube um instagram TikTok. that's where we are we are uh broadcasting uh hello everybody come on in 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 God is amazing. He is truly amazing. We thank him for being that, that amazing God. Uh, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, he is definitely worthy of all the praise and all of the honor. Come on in. We teach around here on Tuesday. Tuesday. Thursday. Saturday and Sunday. All right. Uh, come on in. Come on. It is the month of May. And um, you do know that the money is in the fish's mouth. If you're on Facebook, come on in. Uh, let me know where you're coming in from. Hello, y'all. Uh, come on in. Uh, our moderators uh that are up here with us uh, y'all help me bring our guests up because i'm looking at so many different screens uh bring up our regulars uh uh today um nah y'all we had a mishap in clubhouse and somebody i know all of y'all hey dawn uh dawn b somebody went finger happy and closed the room down the other day if it happens again i'm going to stop modding people because i'm a man of order and i'm i'm not sure who it was and and, and a day ain't planned all right hello Lindsay. i'm not Lindsay. uh pastor linwood i'm sorry pastor delphi you're welcome to come up but good evening everybody good afternoon good morning wherever uh you may be so today we are in um we are we are ready we are set we are go hey chicago uh houston uh hey ruby i hope you're you're doing fine um um uh we are um in the month of may oh i'm sorry Paulette, yes you are you're our moderator Yeah, you are my you are my Paulette. Um, I want to um, announce that we are we are in May, and the lesson I taught Sunday, if you have not heard it, the money is in the fish's mouth. Um, we are in a place of um, uh, expecting the unusual, um, expecting the unexpected y'all know what the eight things was the unprecedented the unmeasurable I, i'm not getting up off of that you know i was in a room earlier uh y'all let me know who's on facebook and youtube um i was in a room earlier with prophet patrick this morning and um a lady said that she had preached the same thing and she actually had a statue of a fish with a gold coin in his mouth and she's sending me uh, she's sending me uh, 
oh, he was in that parlor. She's sending me uh, one of the two that she has as a replica, as a memorial, because I'm not playing. The money. And if you want to sit there and don't go after it, shame on you. All right. I want to I want to ask a question. Michelle, good to see you. I want to ask a question. I'm big on I'm big on seasons. Seasons divide times. Seasons. Seasons let you know where you where you are. A season. Uh we know what to expect what to expect because of seasons. Um a time characterized by a particular circumstances or feature. A period of the year characterized by association with a particular activity or phenomenon. Season. Season. Seasons change. Um, seasons. What season, Linnell Wells? What season are you in? If I if I ask that question to all of you, all of you would have a different answer, or some of you may not even know. Some of you are probably saying, Charles, not you, Charles, but um, I don't know. Moody Ballot, bless you. I don't know, Bishop. I don't know what season I'm in. That might be a problem. Because seasons tell you what to do. Um, winter tells you if you don't put on a coat, we put on layers. Blessing, Jasmine. We put on layers in the in the winter time. We put on we put on layers a day in the winter time. Nairobi. Y'all share the room, please. Um, somebody said on on Instagram, I'm in, I'm in uh I'm in I'm in grind season. That that's good actually. Um, winter we put on layers, we put on, or we will freeze. We put layers on in the winter. In, in the spring, we begin to take off layers. Uh, in the summer, we take it all off. <laughs> Especially if you live in Detroit, they take it all off. We take it, they take it all off. And fall, you start to put it back on and it repeats that cycle. Are, are, are y'all with me? Are y'all with me? Um, winter, we put on layers. Some of you are in the winter of your life where you have to put on. You have to put on um, in order to protect yourself. You have to put layers on. You, I'm going to get more into that. You have to put on things. You make an effort to put on joy and peace because of what you're going. You have to put on. Then the spring is not as bad. Winter is hard. Ah! I said winter is hard. When you're in the winter of your life, it's hard. It's brutal. It's not good on your skin. And some of you, that's where you may be. But the sun will come out tomorrow. Winter is gloomy. Winter, winter. Y'all bring Shakim up, please. Uh, winter is, that's my man. 
uh, 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 winter is gloomy. You don't feel like doing much. That's a season. It's a season. You don't feel like some of y'all are in that season of winter. God Almighty, I, I feel it now. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. You're in that season of winter. Winter will winter will drain you. It will take, you don't even feel like doing nothing. Some of y'all are in that season that you don't feel like, and there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with not Natasha. I'm glad you're the only one that raised that. Yes, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with you. You are not. You are not not productive, not doing. There are people that are doing something, but they're in the wrong season. I, I'm there now. You, you, Paulette, y'all ain't got to say that to me now. There are people that are doing things and they're just going through the motion because they don't know that it's when it's 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 winter. You don't feel like doing much. Give me, give me a good meal. Winter don't mean that you, you're not on time. Let me make an announcement. Let me make an announcement. Every setback was a setup for your comeback. Every setback was a setup for your comeback. Just because you're not moving, it don't appear. It don't appear you're not. But because you're not doing anything, it doesn't mean that you're not still in the plan, Gregory. And in the I need y'all to share the room. I need to get to at least 60 people in here. I need y'all, 40 people to do, do me a favor and share the room. All right? Say, come on in here. What's, what season are you in? Spring, you take off a little, you start getting out a little bit. You start seeing the sun come out. In Detroit. They rush out as soon as the sun comes out and it's nice. All right. So, so then summer, summer, you just take it all off. You just foot free. Summer is when you get out and you make it happen and you do things. Fall, you start putting it back on. These are cycles. Every cycle is not bad. All right. And if we begin to learn how to navigate, I need 10 people plus 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 one to put in the comment i'm learning how to navigate through seasons hmm? i'm learning how not to get uptight because uh winter is here y'all are y'all with me let me actually get what season what season are you uh, what season are you in in your personal life because that will tell why come here jasmine bernice that will tell bronze why things are the way they are because it's according to who gwendolyn what season am i talking okay because i don't feel y'all All right. The, the question is of what season you're is probably one of the most most important questions that you can ask yourself because the season determine how you dress. The season determines how you move. Because the season that you're in determines y'all bring prophet Jerry up in mind determines what you're going to do next seasons determine what you do seasons determine how you move seasons winter says i need some good winter tires y'all y'all not saying that i need to get the car in shape i need i need to get myself in shape huh so in the winter of your life, it is a time to work on you, even though it looks like you're not going anywhere. Because the season, somebody put in the comments, I need y'all to talk with me. Say, my season determines what I do next. So Shakim Michelle just said, uh, uh, where's his comment at? He said, I'm, 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 I'm in the be still season. 
be still usually says i'm waiting for the, the next direction be still says uh 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 I'm waiting on direction from God. Be still says, I'm just going to work on this and make this great. Be still mean, don't make no sudden move and mess this up. Oh, na, 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 na. Oh, na. <laughs> huh? Be still means, I'm just telling you what season you're in. Be still and know that I am God. There's nothing wrong with you in the be still season. I should be doing something. No, if it's be still season, then you shouldn't be doing nothing. Because the season determines what you're doing next. Seasons determine how you move, how you approach life. Am I teaching okay? Seasons determine how you approach life. So, so Shakim is a great example. He said, I'm in the be still season. So we don't expect Shakim to make any sudden moves in the be still. That's how you approach life. Hello. Be still. Let me let me let me ask you a question. Are you out of season or are you in season? Ask yourself. Am I out of season or am I in season? Huh? Am I in see you you go to um you go to the, the, the store and um it's the discount store it, uh, uh you know Neiman Marcus um uh off fifth and all that and I and I, I asked them a long time ago I said um now why 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 what is this stuff I need y'all share what is what is this stuff? Hey, Lorraine, what is this stuff? Harriet, happy birthday, happy, happy clubhouse birthday. Um, uh, and 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 Camille, they said to me, said this is last year's season. It's slightly marked down because it's last year's season. Well, if anybody knows. Nowadays, when I was some years ago, uh, you you would make sure that you're staying up with the with the times. Now you can just about, you know, the Met Gallery was last. The Met the Met Gala. I'm sorry, I watched three hours of it. Um, uh, Dale Man, uh, and they don't all kind of stuff. You don't, you don't know what the what the trend is. But they mark things out of season, meaning that you're not in step with the style. God Almighty. Woo! Jesus. That's one of my favorite places, season 52. You, you this is prophetic. Um, uh, are you out of style? Are you out of step? Are you out of season? Are you trying to do something in a season that has passed? Are you trying to wear something that's not in season? Erica, they're not hearing me. Are you in season or are you out of season? Because when you're out of season, you're out of step. When you're out of season, oh, when you're out of, I, I'm preaching when you're out of season, you tend to make bad moves. You tend to make bad moves when you're out of season. Linnell, thank you for being honest. 
Are y'all hearing me? When you out of season, it could be the right thing. It could be the right thing, but it could be in the wrong season. Uh, I'm going to get you, sucker. I'm going to get you, sucker, the movie. I don't know if y'all have ever seen it. One of my favorite uh, things that, that tells me about season, the man had been in jail for a while. And by the time he got out, the seasons had changed. He comes out of prison in glass heels with fish and they're not wearing that no more. He was clearly, he was clearly faith. He was clearly what? Nairobi out of season. Wearing the wrong, uh, the wrong, the wrong anointing, the wrong, the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing. You can also, you can also, you can also do the right thing in the wrong season. That's why, Prophet Jonathan, you're welcome. Always welcome here. Uh, you can do the wrong thing. You can do the right thing in the wrong season. Some of you have given up on some great things. It it was it was it was it was not it was not the wrong thing. It was just the wrong season for it. Prophet Jerry just just said you're gonna put on a mink coat and it's 80 degrees out. It's the right thing. It's a beautiful mink. But you diminished the mink by wearing it at the wrong time. So we laughing at you in a twenty thousand dollar coat in 80 degrees it's the it's a nice mink you put it out there proper jerry so i thought i'd just embellish it and it, it, it's a it's a wonderful mink you just look foolish you just look cray cray dawn dawn d you look crazy it costs you twenty thousand dollars and you look like a fool with a mink coat and you're sweating. Y'all not, not saying nothing. Because it's the wrong season, Prophet Jonathan, for that mink coat. It's the right thing. It's just the wrong. So are you, ask yourself, I can't, hey y'all, I can't answer these questions for you. I'm sorry. Are you doing something out of season or in season? Because if you're out of season, then it will not work. You could get in a relationship with somebody and they're a great person, but it's the wrong season for that relationship. And the thing about missing seasons just because it's your right season, it don't mean it's the other person's right season. Y'all, y'all holding me down because I I don't feel y'all. Y'all, Mary Rose, y'all, y'all holding me down. JJ, I need some likes on here. Huh? Just because it's your right season, it don't mean that it's there, right? So are you? Oh. Are you doing things that that's in season or out of season? Are you are you with people who are in season? Hey, Willie Banks, hang in there. You'll find out what it says. I'm teaching now. If you just listen, greetings. What does the Bible say about knowing the right season? I'm trying to tell it. So let me revelate. What are you, what are are you with? Are you with are you with the right people? Are the people that you're with? I told y'all, y'all think I forgot it. It's circle, it's circle checking time. <clears throat> Just because somebody was in last week, don't mean they're in this week. You found out. Thank you, Nairobi. You found out things. You you yeah. So is your circle, Jonathan? 
you got to follow the club, John. We got to get that, that, that badge off. You're part of this family, man. Uh, <clears throat> are you with people who are in season or out of season? You trying to do one thing. They still wearing glass heels with fish in them. Like, I'm going to get you, sucker. And you wearing Christian Louboutins. I need two more people in the room. Y'all shared. I said I needed 60. Huh? Are you living? Here's the next question. Are you with me, Kimberly? Are you living in past seasons? Are you living? You ever you ever talk to people? That's all they do is talk about the good old days. Thank you, Johnny. That's all they do. It's talk about the good old days. They're living in the past season of their life. The church is stuck there in many ways. Not all churches. But all we talk about, we like the guys in Haggai. All they talked about was the former glory and didn't know that the latter glory was going to be greater than the former glory. We love the good old days. I'm talking about good times. Huh? It's so hard to say goodbye. It is. But saying goodbye, Onessa, Diana, Lakeish, Denise, saying goodbye to, to old seasons is necessary. I, I told y'all winter is you got to say goodbye to winter or you're going to be in the summer and you're going to be out of season. Are y'all listening to me? Are y'all are y'all listening, Patricia? Are y'all are y'all in here? Where where are you living? So let me ask these three questions again. Are you doing things that's in season or out of season? What what if I was still trying to do what I did? Y'all wouldn't be nowhere around. Look how we bit we were blessed Saturday if we kept on just doing prayer and not get a word. getting ready to open the podcast studio. And I know it's God because the blessings are coming in. What if I was still at the word network? I would never do what I, people prophesied to me, prophesied to me over and over again. You're going to have your own, you're going to have your own studio. You're going to have your own network. I don't know about the own network. All I want is a studio to be able to do content right now. I'm not saying it's not going to come to pass. You don't know what God has for you, but I am saying, that when you hear the voice of God saying the season has changed. Hey, not because you're mad. Seasons don't change because you're mad. You're just mad and you want to take your marbles and go home. Can someone send uh, Sister Dawn, Dawn B., an invite, please. Do y'all hear me? Oh, brother, pastor, my season. Y'all, I need, I need, I need 10 people to call Thaddeus in here. Brother, pastor, call Prophet Claiborne in here too. Brother, pastor, my season is up. You just mad. You couldn't get your way. Seasons don't change because you couldn't get your way. Seasons don't change too. And you have to make a big to do about it and get mad and walk away. No, no, nobody cussed nobody out when I left the word network. I didn't leave bad. I left right. I'm out of here. Did a nice press release praising the person that, that owned it. And I moved on. It don't have to be a big falling out in order for a season to change that's not that's no 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 i get mad and i want to take my mark. just just say just say you're mad and you don't want to be here no more don't don't lie about a season oh god don't lie about a season don't don't lie don't don't lie to my season is up on this job no you just want some more money you just want some more money just say you want some more money just say you don't like your boss I told my daughter, Micah, Jonathan, Prophet Jonathan, 
we got to have you come speak on a Saturday too. Probably. I told uh, Micah, my daughter, she's she was 22, 23. She was complaining about the girl at her job, her, her boss. I said, Micah, there's going to be somebody. There's going to be somebody just like that girl everywhere you go. And she has encountered that. Just say you upset. You don't want to be here no more. It's not a season change. You just, you just, you just, you just mad. You just mad. Don't leave mad. Because God won't bless you. Don't leave mad. Don't leave envious. That's not a season change. That's a pissed off. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean this. I'm sorry. You just upset. Just say you're upset. It's okay to be upset. It says it's okay to be to angry, to be angry. It says be angry, just don't what? What's the word, y'all? Don't sin. I don't like you. My season ain't up. I just don't like being here. I made a mistake. Hey, I made a mistake. People respect people that say they made a mistake and thought it was it. Oh, no, no, no. I am teaching in here. And ain't nobody saying nothing in this Methodist church. People respect you more. When you just say, I just don't want to be here no more. I'm mad. Ain't no season change. The season of dealing with you. It's the hardest thing to do to say we made a mistake. Are you living in past seasons? Are you out of season? Are you moving? Am I, am I, Prophet Jerry, look at you, a leader saying guilty. You know what, Prophet Jerry? I ain't gonna leave you out there. I ain't gonna leave you out there. Me too. I had, I heard AO say on, in, in our clubhouse, I didn't hurt some people. I done been toxic. Are y'all hearing me? I done been toxic. Since y'all don't want to say that y'all some of these toxic people, every last one of us got toxicity in us if we let the right person pull it out of us. The right person can hit the right buttons. Patricia may say something to me and it ain't going to do it, but 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 Lakeith, she can say something, and it, it just it just the way it comes off because it's not the right. If we would all admit we all been there, ain't had nothing to do with a season. Season comes when there is a shift in the atmosphere. When 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 you know it's about to get you. You know it's about to get so as the natural, so as the spiritual. Am I doing okay? Say yeah. God Almighty, 34 minutes in already. You know seasons is shifting. You see the sign when the trees start turning green. That means it's a sign of spring. You know, Lord, the musician is in here. You know, Blair, come on up. You know that it's a sign. It's a change. We had a good time last night, boy. And that is right. You know it's a change of seasons when the trees start yielding the green and start turning brown and the leaves start falling. It's the same way in the spirit. When things start moving and changing and shaking and the feelings and things ain't just the same, you feel a shift. And that's what I want to announce. I want to ask you a question. What season are you in? Because you are in a season. What season are you in? The sons of Issachar, they understood the times and they knew what to do. My favorite tribe. Ecclesiastes, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Three and one to everything there is a season. What season are you in? And a time to every purpose under the heaven. I'm not reading the rest of it. What season are you in? Where are you at? Are you trying the right things? I announced what God was about to do. 
that there was money in the fish's mouth. If y'all don't want to go after it, that's okay. Because I'm going after it, baby. I'm going after it. So, so where does these seasons come? I'm glad you asked. Daniel. Shata. Rotobosha. Daniel 2. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Everybody ain't. Yeah. Daniel 221. 64 in the room. Let's go to 100. Daniel 221. Come here, Jerry, Prophet Jerry. And he changeth the times and the seasons. Who does it? He does. Why does it become, why does the trees wither away in the wintertime when winter and fall comes? Because he's changing it. That's how you know it's a God. Why does the trees turn green and the flowers, the, hey, the flowers are there all the time. But it's the seasons that cause them to bloom. Good evening, Jerry. Jerry, Prophet Jerry, you didn't you didn't hear what I just said. The, the we you you plant roses and they are still in the ground, but you have to cover them up. And when they come, when the season change, they all they automatically bloom because the season has changed. That's what happens in your life. You can make things happen. It's the season for it. I'm doing something I ain't never did in my life. Because you know why? You know why? I couldn't do it. I didn't have enough influence. The Lord told me to start this podcast studio. And he said, put it out there May 1st. And he said, you raise money for it. We ain't raising money for it in this room right now. No, we ain't doing it. That ain't what we're doing. But I'm just giving a testimony. He said, "You, I've never done it before. You put it out there. You put a goal out there. This is the instructions. It's the season for you to do it because you now have influence. I didn't have influence to have nobody give nothing 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 16 years ago. I didn't have that kind of influence. But God gave me television and I've been nice to people. Hey, y'all, be nice to people. Be kind to people. Don't burn bridges. You trying to do things. Oh my, Prophet Jonathan, they're going to get mad at me. I, I hate saying things like this because they're going to get mad. You can't do it because somebody else does it. It's their season and it works. You trying to have a conference because somebody else had a conference. You doing it for the wrong reason and it will never work. You're trying to start a business. Let them do what they're going to do. You step into somebody else's season. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to step in other people's season. What I look like trying to step in my bishop season, Bishop Paul Morton, who's my spiritual father, because the, 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 the student will never be greater than the teacher. Hey, y'all, work the season that you're in. And he changes the times and the season. He removed kings and set it up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Y'all think. Y'all think, Prophet Jerry, bless you. Prophet Jerry, Prophet Jerry cleaned out. You know, I couldn't even teach like this and young preachers would come. It wasn't the season. I've had hundreds of young preachers travel to the Word Network, be on the Young Preachers Show, come up under my tutelage because it was the season for it. Seasons come and seasons go. The wrong, the worst thing in the world, Brother Blair, is for you to be trying to do something that was last season. What I look like wearing a Kooji sweater that I wore 20 years ago for our family pictures. We look crazy. What I look like, what I look like putting hair on my head and I've been bald. It's the season for baldness for me. I don't like little nothing look fake or artificial sitting all up top of my head, part of my head. Y'all not saying that. I know they still make coojis. They do, but I ain't wearing one because it's out of season for me. He 
He brings up one. He takes one down. He gives wisdom unto the wise, knowledge to them that know understanding. I ain't trying to have no conferences. I had conferences in the 90s. Dawn was there. I packed out, I packed out churches and auditoriums and, 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 and had and done all this. What I look like now I need to instruct. This is the season of wisdom that I give and instruction and people bless me for my wisdom and my knowledge. June been with me 30 years. Jackie McCullough, we had her in 1992. I own a lot. Marvin Winans, Dorinda Clark Cole, Donnie McClurklin, 91, 92. Had Donnie McClurklin when he was taking the bus from our church. We offered him a ride. We need, those of us that give wisdom need to do what we're doing right now. We need to become the Solomons and give wisdom to the young preachers and say, run on. When I look at a flyer, I told Prophet Joshua this. I'm not saying nothing that I ain't saying it. When I look at a flyer with 29 people on there or 10 people or five people, I'm looking at money. I'm looking at budget. I'm having PTSD. I'm having flashback. Dawn got delivered in seven days of glory. She was there when it was birthed. Oh, na, 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 na. Oh, na. <laughs> huh? When you get, Prophet Jerry has said to me, he said, I said, man, why y'all be in church so long, man? He said, we young. He was honest. He said, we young and we be shouting until the people get there. I said, man, I just preached at Prophet McKinstry's and, and, and I, 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 we started at 10 and we was out at, 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 at 11 40, 49. He said, that's cause you Bishop Greg Davis and you have nothing to prove. We shouting and waiting for folk to come to church and praying that they come. Seasons. <laughs> Y'all not saying nothing. Huh? Seasons. I'm talking about seasons, y'all. Get in your season. And those of us that are older, you should not be jealous because somebody is in their season. It don't mean that you go sit down. There are just different levels to seasons. Not trying to compete with Prophet Jerry, Prophet Gregory. I don't know Prophet Brandon and Prophet Jonathan. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to compete with <laughs> with Prophet Purcell. Oh, I didn't even know he was in here. I called his name and didn't even know he was in here. I'm not trying to compete with him. I'm here to give wisdom. That's the season I'm in. I can just spit stuff out now. I used to look at Mike Murdoch and I said, Lord, let me get his books and mark them up and teach and act like I got wisdom. I don't need his books no more. Cause I got my own story. I got my own seasons that I've been in. I got my own stuff that I've been in. I'm not trying to run with nobody else. I'm running in my race and in my season. I'm not going somewhere and lay down and play dead. Some people in relationships, you can be in two different seasons. I'm not trying to do what I was doing. I'm not trying to go to church all the time. Bishop, you don't come to nothing no more. I done church hop since I was I was 10 years old. Now give me Saturday service at my home church and I'm going home and I'm teaching y'all. I'm doing what I need to do. I'm Right now, I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Clubhouse. I'm everywhere sitting right here in my place in Atlanta. Know what season you in. I didn't I didn't ran to all the musicals. Now I go when I get ready. You go. You go because you ain't got it all out of you. I don't have that in me no more because it's a different season. My season shifted. I'm not trying to be everywhere. I'm trying to be what makes sense. I'm not trying. I preached 300 times in one year, several years. I ain't trying to do that no more. I'm not trying to go to places just to get offered. I want to go to be 
I want to go to be a blessing and an assignment. I don't want to go. I done did it where the church is open this year and next year is gone. And I done poured into people. Y'all, y'all, I'm sorry, y'all. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do. I, I didn't mean to do this. I, I didn't need this ain't nowhere. And that's all I'm trying to say. Prophet Jonathan, you got it. You coming to speak to us on a Saturday soon. Work your grace. Work your season that you're in. Work in the season that you are in. What season are you in, though? What season are you in? Are you in, number one, let's go, Kimberly. Number one, what season are you in? Here you go, Prophet Jerry. Are you in the season of isolation where God got you isolated? Because there's a season, number one, there's a season of isolation where God puts you and he hides you and he puts you on the backside of the desert. And you got to stay there 40 years until you show up at a burning bush. Don't care how many business cards you get out, give out. Don't care how much you can squall. Don't care how much the seed today is 50, by the way. There are 29 people that's going to sow $50. The seed is 50. This is the month of May. We are embracing May with a seed of $50. In case y'all want to sow while I'm talking. It is a seed of $50. And you're putting on there seasons. Season. season the seed today is your season seed for your for your season the seed is 50 and those that will go extra and believe that it's your season and you know what's it you're going to give a hundred you're going to give a hundred huh 50 or a hundred the lord told me to drop the seed right there y'all know how we do it 50 or 100. Don't leave because you don't have it. Sow into the word today. Sow into the word. Sow into the word. Season of isolation. Where you're on the Isle of Patton, Patmos. Where you're on the backside of the desert like Moses. Moses had three seasons. Number one, he had to be put in the system to learn the system. Number two, he had to be put on the backside of the desert to learn how to take care of sheep. And number three, God brought it all together. The third season was going back to Egypt to the system that he learned to the sheep that he would lead. Good God Almighty. Prophet Jerry, you missed your cue. Season of isolation where I can pray and I ain't going, hey, Rosa, my daughter, I love you. Season of isolation where nobody won't be bothered with you because God got you in isolation. I hope y'all writing these down. Well, Kimberly are singing the season of isolation. I'm isolated from everybody. I want to get out there, but I can't. They invite me, but I tell them I can't go right now. I can't do it right now. Somebody crying right now. Somebody is crying, literally crying right now. Because you are in that season or you've been there in a season, Prophet Michael. Ah, you in that season of isolation. See, ha, oh, number two, season of loneliness. Hmm? I can't get nobody to bother with me because God got to talk to me. Y'all not saying nothing, huh? During COVID, my hearing increased. My hearing in the spirit, because I was lonely during COVID, like many of you. I didn't play with COVID. Y'all know I'm barely just flying now. Loneliness. God got you there so that you can hear. He that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying. And the thing about the season of loneliness, see, we equate seasons with money. But God can have you isolated and still bless you. God can have you lonely and still bless you. Loneliness ain't got nothing to do with not having money. Loneliness has to do with the season that you're in in your life. And he still can bless you hey, by yourself. He can bless you all by yourself. That's when Abram 
God told Abram, get from your kinfolk. Go by yourself. I'm going to bless you, but I ain't going to bless you here. Number three, season, season of preparation. Yay! Don, you remember some of these? Huh? Season of preparation. Where God puts you in a season where you ain't doing nothing but you in class. You are preparing because you're not ready for it. Some of y'all ain't ready for a relationship. Praise the Lord, Prophet Thaddeus. Praise the Lord. Huh? Preparation. I'm preparing you for what's next. You think you're ready, but you ain't ready. You know, the worst thing in the world, Prophet Brandon, is to be, to think you're ready for something that you ain't ready for. To think you know something that you really don't know it. To think that you know more than you really know for the season that he's taking you to. He ain't preparing you for this season. You already been prepared for this season. But the season you in is preparation for the next season. Good God Almighty, I'm running. I'm running with the vision. You're sowing a $50 seed. That's the seed today. You're sowing a $50 seed. Bless you, Fridia. Bless you, Prophet Jerry. You already gave, Prophet Jerry. You cleaned out your cash app. Maybe you got more after you cleaned it out. Huh? Season of preparation. He's preparing my mind. He's preparing my body. He's giving me physical uh, uh, preparation. He's giving me mental tenacity. He's preparing my hearing. He's preparing what to say. Yes, I, I, I think I know what to say, but if I go now, I'm going to mess it up because I really don't know what to say. You know, the worst thing in the world is to think you know more than what you really know. The worst thing in the world is to think you're doing something when you ain't doing something. Man, when I first start preaching, I thought I was saying something. It ain't until now that I really think I'm doing a little something. He's preparing you. And then number four, because I got to close, the season of standstill. It's when God says, Shekim, stand still and know. Oh, it's in the book of, it's in the book, it's in, it's, it's in Exodus 13 and 14, when God tells uh, Moses, the season you in right now is the standstill season. Oh, it don't feel good because I want to do something. I want to say something. I want to... <laughs> I want to come at you, but God says, stand still. I live in my grandfather's theology of people. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Oh, I let them do me all kind of way. You know why? Because God, my grandfather used to say, Sonny, I'm going to be right here when they get back. What does that mean, Dad? That means they're going to go ahead and they're going to bump their head and they're going to mess up and they think they're doing me wrong, but I'm going to be right here. I got the anointing. I'm going to be right here. Do me wrong. Please do me wrong. Please, because I need 10 people plus nine to put in the comments. Every do wrong is a do right for God to bless you. Hey, Prophet Smith, come on up. I said every do wrong is a do right for God. Season of standstill. I want to go somewhere. I want to do something, but I got to turn it down. Why? Because God told me to stand still. What you standing still for? You ain't going nowhere. You don't think I'm going nowhere. Hmm? But I'm going somewhere. Y'all remember Shirley C. told about the, the you know, the goat, uh, the goat or the, whoever it was. Yeah. Huh? And, 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 and every time, every time uh, that they kept on putting the dirt back, he kept going higher and higher. You people think because you ain't doing nothing. Season of stand still don't mean that God ain't doing it. Season of stand still means when God is doing it and you ain't got to do nothing. There's those of you that are going to sow 50 and there are those of you that are going to sow 100. Dollar sign, Greg Davis, 10. Give your season seed. Huh? What season you in? Which one of these seasons are you in? Are you in the standstill? Huh? Standstill is when you want to do something and God says, you better not. Standstill is when Balaam, when, when the prophet uh, Balaam had one thing on his mind that he was going to go with Balaam and curse God's people Huh? And the donkey stopped in the track. And God stood him still right there. And said, if you go, you better say what I said. I'm going to stand you still right here. And he saw an angel with a sword getting ready to cut them to sunder. Some of you don't like it. Some of you don't feel good in it because it don't feel good to stand still when you want to go. 
The Lord told me, he said, I'm giving people the desires of their heart, but it don't mean that it's their, my perfect will. You go ahead. You go when you're supposed to stand still. You out of season. You like the mink coat in, J in June in 80 degrees. You out of season. You know why Prophet Claiborne can, 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 can announce a, 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 a launching of a website, a clothing line, his daughter's CD, he's writing a book because he's in season. He couldn't have did this five years ago. He wasn't, there was no clubhouse. There was, there was no messed up marriage. There was none of that. Seasons. I've been doing relationship for years and ain't nobody invited me to do nothing. But I'm in my season. Y'all not saying nothing. Some of y'all, you know what season you're in. There are seasons when I couldn't get nothing going. I didn't get discouraged. I didn't try to get in somebody else's season. I worked where I'm at. Number, where we at, Kimberly? Where we at, Kimberly? Where we at, Kimberly? I'm on number five now then, right? Season of abandonment. That's what Prophet Thaddeus has been trying to talk about. And he's going to talk about Wednesday night in, in a day's room. I'm not going to hit it hard because he's going to talk about abandonment. When people walk away from you, it don't feel good. And it's always, it's always the people that are close to you. Because people, people that betray you had to know you. They had to hurt you. They had to know you. Put it in the comments. I feel like hooping y'all. I promise you. I'm happy. They had to put, they, they had to, they, they had to know you in order to hurt you. It's a dog standing right outside my patio. He can hear me. <laughs> he, he walked up to the patio. Huh? Do you hear me? Season of abandonment when people walk away you ain't got to do nothing to them but they got to walk away you know why they got to abandon you because they're not a part of the next season they taught you in this season they are to walk away walk on by huh season of abandonment you ain't did nothing huh They're actually violating your next season if they stay. Y'all not saying nothing. Y'all not saying nothing. Huh? Abandon you. Walk away. They, they're violating. If they stay, they're violating. They're violating your next season. They, you can't do what you need to do with baggage. And seasons change within minutes, within seconds, and people. Whew. Number six, seasons of uncertainty. It's the scratch your head season. I got two more and we're out of here. Seasons of uncertainty. I don't know what to do next. It's all right not to know what to do next. That means that God is in charge. Dawn, if you ain't never sold before, Dawn D, you sow. Because this message, this word, everybody that know this word was for you. You sow, you sow, you sow. Season of uncertain. When you're uncertain, that means God is certain. Huh? Hey, Tim Clinton, season of, uh, I love you, bro. Seasons of uncertainty. When you're not certain, you know that something is next, but you don't know what's next. You're uncertain. That don't mean that you make any rash moves. It don't mean that you do anything unrational, irrational. It means that you sit back and you don't overthink it. Because when you're uncertain, that means God is up to something. When you're uncertain about somebody, some some of you, you done, you done been with people, you done got in relationships, and you and you get into seasons. Lord, I wish I had the young man to play for me. Prophet Thaddeus, Brother Blair, I wish you was by an instrument. I cut this off. Huh? 
when you in seasons of uncertain you don't do nothing I don't know what to do I don't know how to move next I don't know something is wrong I can't hear from God you that means you do nothing God didn't leave God didn't move I know probably I was just I just remember last night huh God didn't move huh you moved who moved the cheese huh you moved He's still there. He never left. That means he's, hey, when he has you in a season of uncertainty and you ain't got nothing to say, that means he's up to something. He's moving people in. He's moving people out. He's moving people around. Number seven, 19 people plus 10 people that would put the dancing emojis in on this one. After all that, the season the season of turnaround y'all don't know when to dance goodbye bye bye good evening i'm cutting it off the season of turnaround that mean that mean that mean pastor daddy is you have Bless you, Candace. Bless you, Ebony Star. Bless you, Pastor Thaddeus. Bless you, Freedia. Bless you, Prophet Jerry. Huh? <coughs> that means you've passed the first six seasons. So now it's about to turn around. You went through winter. You went through spring. And now it's summer. It's time to take off all those things. You're not uncertain no more. You're out of abandonment. You're out of preparation. You're out of isolation. You're out of loneliness. And now it's the turnaround. Season. Has anybody, Prophet Jonathan, ever been in the turnaround season? How, is anybody that know he'll do it? Is anybody here that know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning? Has anybody ever been to the due season? Huh? This the due season is the season of turnaround where everything that you've been waiting for, God turns around. Ladies and gentlemen, what season are you in? None of these are bad seasons if you learn how to embrace them. They're bad if you're fighting them. They're bad if you're complaining about them. But how many of you know that he'll turn it around? How many of you know that he'll turn your Midnight into day. I'm a preacher, y'all. How many know that he'll turn your morning into dancing? How many know, y'all not saying nothing, huh? That I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, his seed baking bread. How many of you know that after you suffered for a little while, huh? It's the turnaround season. If you ain't never had, Miguel, a turnaround season, then that means that you have not passed the test of the other season because I decree and declare he'll give you a turnaround season. <laughs> Good evening, y'all. I'm done. I said, it. won't he do it? Huh? Won't he, won't he give you a turnaround season? Won't he put clapping in your hands and dancing in your feet? I ain't in prayer. Like, bye, bye. Don't run around the doctors. And then number eight, the season of continued progress. Just look like one thing happened after another. Good. Huh? Just one thing after another. Continue progress. Everything you touch. A website, a new website, a clothing line, your daughter's CD. Huh? That's the season you in. Claiborne, you done been through all these seasons just in the last two years since you've been there. Don't you cry on me. You done been through every last one of these seasons. But you know what? The enemy, is he still here? No, he ain't still here. Well, y'all tell him with us. Huh? Oh, yes, he is. Okay. It, the stage shifted. Huh? But God let your haters, he let your haters live. He let your haters live long enough to see you go through it. You think I'm talking to Claiborne, but I'm talking to everybody. He let your haters live to see you go through every season. 
God made it fail. <laughs> he made it fail. Huh? Huh? He allowed you to go through every season. And we just saw you go through the turnaround season. And now we're seeing progress. Who am I talking to? You got to be isolated so he can talk to you. You got to be lonely so you get to know yourself. You got to prepare. You got to stand still. You got to be abandoned because the same people that started with you can't finish with you. You got to feel like you're uncertain. You got to go through a turnaround. And then there's the season of continued progress. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bishop Gregory Michael Davis. And I approve this word. Those of you, I want you to sow a seed of $50 or $100. If you don't have that, sow 23. But get a seed in the ground. Huh? There's another season. It's called the time of seed time and harvest. Those of you on Instagram, the giving information, dollar sign, Greg Davis 10. Huh? Cash App, Greg Davis Ministries. Zell, Greg Davis Show at gmail.com. Huh? Cash App, dollar sign, Greg Davis 10. Give your seed today. I want to pray in just a minute. I'm getting ready to go over here on Instagram and Facebook and all these. But I want you to give that seed. I want you to give that seed of 50, 100. Give that May seed. Assign your seed. May. The money is in the fish's mouth. May. My season changes. The Lord bless y'all that are on Instagram. The Lord bless y'all that's on um, TikTok. Bless you. Blessings to you. Those of you that are on Facebook, I love you. And YouTube, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Sow your seed. I'm going to leave the given information up just for a minute. I love y'all. Peace be unto you.